Hello and welcome back to the channel. I am Cabotsaurus Rex and you are joining me in trying to figure out exactly what the friggity frack is going on in Amanda the Adventurer. So if you are appreciating the moderately more than mediocre content, take the like button and the subscribe button and shish kebab them together and put them on the grill because they sound absolutely delicious. Just don't forget the, you know, the sweet peppers and the, and the bread onion and mm, mwah, sounds delicious. All right, with that, we're gonna get started while we eat our little snack of like and subscribe button. Yay! All right, so we're gonna continue. We're missing, I believe, two tapes and two endings. How many, let's see, how many tapes do we have? Okay, we have the orange, the blue, and the red. And apparently, we have, um, is this already unlocked? No, okay. And apparently our tapes are out of order. I don't know if it just kind of runs at random or if that's a bug but we're fi we'll find out this is not a bug it's a feature Hi. Oh. so um me <laughs> that sounds delicious today we're going to make an apple pie first we need to cut the apples hmm, do you know what we can use to cut the apples a jibble. It would help if I could type. Good job. Right, pause. And then. Does it. Hang on. Does it matter? I don't think it matters. First. Here you are. So that was fun. All right. So this is for the meat pay. All right. No, I need the moon. This is the one potato moon. Neat. Oh, oh, it won't actually show it. Yeah, you have to, you have to turn around. Why does it squish? And then 525 and 50 minutes. Alright, I do know that this is one way to get one of the tapes. Hi there, I'm Amanda. Good job, let's go. Alright, now we're going to pause. And... There we go, we got the green tape. Now I think all we're missing is a purple tape. Um,
and then just gotta try those too because I can't remember which one produced the tape and which one did not. All right. Um, That's not the right card. I don't think we want this. I think of. Are you sure that? There we go. Okay, now the candy store. Wait, what? Why did you do that? Uh, candy. Don't do that. I don't want to go there. Yes, let's torture the soul of this child some more. I don't want to go in there. No. That is an epic no. metal scream. Wooly! After you've burned everything to the ground. Oh, sorry. I'm not good at typing. Oh, I'm an IT and I'm it's terrible at typing. Birthday. Okay. So, next up is Actually, no. Eight, two. Oh, no, wait. It's two, eight. Or is it two uh, balls? Eight. Oh no. There we go. Sorry she blows. Okay. Buckets. What relationship? Are you sure? I kind of want to. I thought that I could trust you. I thought we were best friends. Mm. I thought that I knew you. You are not that kind of person. Oh, is that it? I thought that I knew you. We were going to associate you with all life together. Please do not forget me at all. And pop! What? Alright, let's see. Oh, this is another one. Let's see. Let's see, what's this one? This one is, what's a family? Okay, so that was the orange one, which we already had. So then I need the oh no accident. I think it's time to visit the sheep. 
Can you tell me where we can find the sheep? Okay, let's... Uh, hello? Yes. I'm trying to remember where we get the Ono oh accidents. Can we get it from that one? Alright, we'll have to play through this one and get it. Chicken looks like no. Great! Let's go see the silly chicken. What a cute family! <laughs> Having a family is nice. I see a mommy chicken and baby chickens, and I see I see a daddy chicken. Look at the chickens! Do you know what the daddy is called? A rooster. The daddy is called a rooster. The mommy is a hen, and the babies are chicks. Some mommies eat their babies. Yum, yum. Blech. Okay, let's go see some more animal families. Where should we go next? I think it's time to visit the sheep. <laughs> can you tell me where we can find the sheep? Ew, I don't want to see See those, they're scary. I don't want to go near Oh no, I missed the thunderstorm warning. Okay, we'll just play through it again. Aww. Okay. Okay. Alright, we're gonna try that again. Get all the things and get the oh no accidents from that thingy. Wooly's offended. Great. You sound just like Wooly. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah. You sound just like me. Yes, I sound just like you when you're cursing out your mother. Oh, but that's up there. God damn it. Right, let's go to the okay, sheep. Okay, let's go! Look at the nice sheep family. All the sheep are right where they belong. <laughs> oh no, that's not right. Little... 
Hmm. So we did that one, now we need Tornado, and then we know how to get the flooding. Hmm. I just went through that one not too long ago, but you know. You know what, let's go ahead and get the hollow ending. And then we'll work on that last tape. <laughs> Yum. That's my face. No. Oh. I thought you were different. Oh, see? Leave. And there's the hollow ending. And that is ear piercing. What? And what did I do to you, Burb? Okay. Now, it's the uh, injury video is the other one where you type in nobody, but I think I didn't do that with the correct thing, so we're just gonna go through normal. Yeah, see? Oh, it's so pretty. Hi. Um. Mm, that sounds delicious. Niffle. Good job. We can Shugale. There's the peach. Did I do this one yet? I don't think it's a tape, but I know it's an achievement. Oh! There's the last tape! It looks like, I know there's a sixth tape that just never got actually put into the game, but I'll make an episode where we just watch through all the tapes and I'll, I'll grab, I'll grab someone's YouTube footage of watching that final tape. Cause I don't have the Unity Explorer to do, yes, Barit, I don't have the Unity, Ex I don't have Unity. And I guess I could set up a whole bunch of complicated stuff, but eh. Don't want to. Okay, so we're gonna go here. Good job. What? And then. Great! I found. Good job. Cookies. Those look so. Uh. Great work. No. Poor Wooly's sad because it's his birthday. All right. So then it's. So apparently I did do this one. Uh, 
Louie. And then. You're probably right. Damn. Come on. That's right. Yeah, and then that's where the red one came in for me. Cool beans. We got all the tapes. There we go. Oh, that's right. I don't have to go through all that. Alright, Blabbot. There, please have mercy on me. Oh, is this something different? Please. There's this is something different. Another chance. I love you. There, I said it. Oh, no. I am in love with you. <laughs> I will do anything, please. No, wait. I am begging you. I will show you number combinations you've never even dreamt of. Oh my. Please. Please have mercy on us. We are going to have such a beautiful life together. Please do not forget me. <laughs> you have blabbed your last number combination. to share my secret with you? I'm out there. Somewhere. Oh. Well, that was the hidden ending of Amanda the Adventurer. It's only been a little bit. We can go we can go check out all those tapes. And then I will give you a glimpse. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play the whole thing of the uh, of the final tape. Where's the birthday girl? Usually my mom pulls my treat money. Well, I'm come on, Lauren, we have a special surprise for you. Ooh. Here's what I have. <laughs> Who's ready for ice cream and cake? She's busy with her best friend. Is that show on 24-7? It's like she didn't even hear me. And we need to talk about some new TV rules. <laughs> Why do you, you just know, unplug wanna, the TV? Let me try. I, I want to I capture the big surprise on video. <laughs> Lauren, honey. We got cake and ice cream. We got your favorite mint chocolate chip. Come on, baby. We can watch Amanda another time. It's so much fun Lauren? to buy your own Everything okay? Lauren? Mm, Lauren? I love 
mint chocolate chip. Ruh -roh. I don't think these are in any particular order. Oh yes, this is the one where the child gets interrogated or something, or she's expected to sign something without parental supervision. Again, minors get their parents or guardians or some adult to represent them that represents their interests. Barit, why are you looking offended? Come here. Ow, don't bite me. Come on. Reet Ru? Reet Ru? No, you're not gonna reet Ru? Reet? Hey, come on, turkey bird. Fine, you know, no. Oh, we gotta do the head bobbles first. There we go. See, you, get, you have to tweet at least once a video where I'm talking to you, that way people don't think I'm crazy. Yeah, exactly. A turkey bird. A turkey bird. There you go. <laughs> It's been three weeks since local television producer Sam Colton was reported missing, and authorities still have no leads. Colton is the creator of Amanda the Adventurer, the public access children's educational program that became a huge hit among area children. But with Colton's disappearance, the future of the show remains unclear. Last year, Hamlin Entertainment purchased rights to the live action program starring Colton's daughter, Rebecca. As budget and production value increased, Hamlin reimagined the show as an animated series, planning to syndicate the program nationally. Hamlin's acquisition of the program and Colton's recent disappearance have raised some eyebrows. And to further fuel these concerns, new episodes of Amanda the Adventurer have had subject matter that has left local parents uncomfortable about the program. My kids are still really into that show, but it has changed. I mean, I walked in the other day and Amanda was talking about how mommies and daddies aren't always right. I mean, what is that? That's not something you tell impressionable kids. I had to change the channel. I just told the kids that the TV was acting up. It's not yet clear how Colton's disappearance will affect the involvement of his daughter, Rebecca, the show's young star. We reached out to Hamlin Entertainment for an interview. While representatives declined to comment, they did release a written statement. We at Hamlin have concerns surrounding the nature of Sam Colton's abandonment of both our program and his daughter. We cannot speculate on his reasons for leaving. We do ask that the community respect the privacy of Rebecca Colton as she needs time out of the spotlight to process these disturbing events. For the time being, Rebecca's local appearances have been canceled, including the Kensdale Public Library fundraiser, Woolies Readathon, this Saturday evening. Rest assured that Amanda is not going anywhere. Hamlin Entertainment remains committed to our vision for this cherished program. Despite this statement, authorities have not drawn any conclusions about the nature of Sam Colton's disappearance. We will share any future updates as the story develops. When we return, we'll check in with Zappo, the talking gerbil. Oh, I want a talking gerbil. It's me, your friend, Skip. Fuck you, Skip. And with me, as always, is my trusty dog, Chip. Retire that poor dog, let him live his la his 
later elder years as a happy dog. His wig was bad. Hello. Oh boy, coffee break. Sadie Kippen. Welcome to Coffee Break. Today I'm talking with Sam Colton, the creator of the hit kids show, Amanda the Adventurer. And I have to say, a fantastic studio neighbor. Thanks for having me on the show, Sadie. You're a pretty good studio neighbor yourself. Though, I am going to gain 50 pounds if you keep stocking the kitchen with those delicious homemade cookies. You can't have a coffee break without cookies. <laughs> Sam, last year you started producing Amanda the Adventure right here in the studio. The whole town loves it. Did you even imagine that would be such a big sensation? Honestly, Sadie, no. <laughs> it was a total surprise. I mean, it's scrappy at best. You know how it is when you have a big idea and a little budget. I don't know if I know what you're talking about. Oh, <laughs> shots Kids fired. don't really care about that, though. They see the heart. And boy, does your show have a big heart. You know, I really have to thank our local librarian, Miss Kate, for being such a champion of the project. I think she's talked about it at every single story time. I think it's just so rare nowadays for kids' shows to be so much fun, but also really teach kids something, isn't it? Mm -hmm. What inspired you to create Amanda? I wanted to create a show that teaches children that our world is a magical place, that there are little adventures waiting around every corner in their very own neighborhood. The show is a celebration of kids' imaginations. But really, it's all Rebecca. As soon as I met my beautiful daughter, the inspiration was there. You know, she was so young when I adopted her. And despite what she's gone through, she's always seen the world with such kindness and joy. She's the light of my life, and it makes me so happy to share that light with our community. She really is something special. Watching her perform is simply delightful. I mean, the whole show is just so cute. Thank you, Sadie. Do you see big things happening with Amanda the Adventurer? I've actually had some people approach me about it. They want to turn Amanda into a cartoon. I can't really talk about it yet, but it's exciting. It feels like a dream, the idea of welcoming even more kids into this wild, creative world. It feels like my little show could really have a big impact. It impacted That's something. Sam, thanks so much for having a coffee break with me today. Our community is so lucky to have you. And Rebecca. On our next coffee break, floral arrangements for all occasions. Featuring the newest addition to our neighborhood, Rose Matthews of Rose's Bouquet. Until then, may your coffee always be steaming and the conversation sparkling. Are you going to And you'll see me in every day. I'll be my first and it's one of those other cookies. I can't do it. Are we sure people want coffee or do they want tea? You know, people people do enjoy a good drama. God, God damn it. Just go back on the shelf. Boop. Good enough. All right. Here's the last one. Yay. Oh. Rebecca, that was great. Let's move on to the next one. Bye, yeah. Bye, yeah. Bye, yeah. Bye, man. What is this? What is she reading? Just a few simple words. Uh, this script is specifically tuned to train the technology's dynamic voice reaction. The what? No, nah, you having her summoning that. demons. That's just a baby. Don't have so the baby summoning demons. We've only got a few more of these. No, I don't want to do that. Rebecca, what's wrong? Who are you talking to? The man in the headphones. There's no man. She's upset. 
This is going too far. Let's just take five. Rebecca, come on out and we'll... They got that baby summoning demons. No, no, no. You don't summon demons until you're at least 16. Come on now. All right. And now, allow me to get set up for the mysterious 16. Look. Perfect. Okay. I'm gonna... No, that's not what I wanted to do at all. I wanted this. There we go. Okay, now. Woolies. Full tape. We're only going to be watching a little bit of it. This is 10 minutes long. And you'll see why I'm just going to kind of skip through it. Just to kind of give you an idea. It's, it's just a little... It's an Easter egg. Something silly that they wanted to throw in. That they... Not necessarily that they wanted to throw in. I don't know. It could be that they purposefully did this. Just because they knew people would be, like, rooting through all the game files and stuff. So... Yeah. It's just more of the same. He scratches his butt. He sits there and contemplates his role in the universe. And that's just this, this is what he do. He made a noise. All right, and with that, we uh, are done. Today's video is about a person oh my that God. never ever thought I would. That that did autoplay, like right away. That's fun. And with that, we are done. We have finished Amanda the Adventurer. That was. That was actually fairly well done. Um, hopefully, my my oldest child has told me that I need to do Garden of Ban Ban 3. Hopefully she forgets by the time it comes out. Anyway, thank you for joining me on this particular adventure. Uh, not sure what's entirely what's going on. It sounds like they had a little girl summon a demon. And then that demon went around snatching kids. I don't know. I would actually love to get a little more backstory on this. This it it still follows the same uh, same thing formula as take something that's meant for kids and make it scary and like demon research related or immortality research related or something something weird. Scott Coughlin, you set off a a bomb, my dude. Cause that's all all of these indie horror games are. Anymore. Anyway, uh, I cannot wait to see if they actually do something with this one, though. Because this, this actually had a pretty good delivery. Little, It was a little clunky, but I, I actually think this one was a lot better than some of the other ones I've seen and played. So, Anyway, 
Thank you for joining me on this adventure. Remember, you are loved, you are important, and you and your feelings are valid. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!